is Leighton Ricketts and I'm here to look at the Razor Touchless Car Wash in Blarney County Cork and give you some idea of how the machine operates and how well it cleans. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to show you the vehicle we're going to wash, uh, make sure it's nice and dirty um, and then we're going to go through the wash. We're going to have two videos recording. So the one video will be me inside the vehicle explaining the processes and then the other one will be on the outside just showing the wash in action. So you know that no one's running around trying to give the a car a quick wipe to get it clean. So this is the actual vehicle itself that we're going to clean. It's quite nasty. Um, as you can see, all the ways around, front, back and sides. Um, it hasn't been cleaned for about three weeks. It's my wife's car and she's going to be very happy that we're actually finally getting to clean this vehicle. The underbody wash which blasts the underbody and the bottom of the car sills and I don't know if you can hear it but there's a voice telling me to drive forward as well as our signage to tell us to stop in the correct place and if you go too far it tells you to back up now the first pass is going to be the low pH pre-soak and what that does is where you get the scum on the outside of the glass, it uh, helps to take that off. It also is great for cleaning uh, bugs and organic matter and chrome. So we put that around the entire vehicle, but you'll also notice we flip that nozzle in. So we get the inside of the glass and we'll do the same on the opposite side. Um, if you look at the wing mirror. It flips and then gets the inside of the glass of the wing mirror. I'll pop the wipers on so you can see the next bit. So now it's pre-soak, which is our high pH pre-soak. This one doesn't flip to get the inside of the glass because we programmed it not to. But we get great coverage. So the idea of that is it means we get the soap on the outside of the wing mirror the bit that's got the, the, the dirt on. Both products are non-hazardous. And for this entire coating, we've used around about 45 milliliters of low pH product and about 105 milliliters of the high pH product. So we're gonna pop the wipers on again so you can see. Now, it depends on the time of year um, we either have one single high pressure pass going across the front or we have a double pass. Um, it's June and we're ex expecting a lot of cars to come in with bugs. So we've set it to have a double high pressure pass. We also have the ability to use a program called Bug Assault, which basically adds a third chemical uh, which travels just around the front and around the front edges in a U-shape um, to apply a bug cleaning chemical. But we typically find we don't need it in Ireland. So the machine's gonna do a full 360. And hopefully on the other camera, you can see the fixed width of the arm between the arm and the vehicle. So if you've got a small car or a large car, it adjusts to suit. Um, the Razor has also got the ability to maneuver around objects. So for example, if somebody's got a, a roof rack on the top of the vehicle, or, or sorry, sorry, roof rack's no issue, but if somebody's got a, a bike rack on the back of the vehicle, it'll hit it, tilt the arm, move back and carry on washing. I don't know of any other types of wash that can do anything similar. So the next product is our foaming canoeba wax. This can also be applied as a wall of foam. Um, we decided not to use this function because, as a wall of foam because we're an outdoor wash. Um, and to create the wall, we've got to travel relatively slowly so the wind doesn't affect it. Uh, we found it was a waste of chemical, so we don't use it. Um, that product was the ceramic sealant, and you can already see in a really, really quick time, how the ceramic sealant makes the water bead up and come off the vehicle.
this is a rinse, but once again, you can see after the ceramic seal and that water is just stripping straight off with no dryers to the point where the windscreen is almost dry. And we don't have any of that scum left on the outside. This is a spot free rinse, which is reverse osmosis water. So if any, if any water is left on the vehicle after the dry, you won't get the white dots. Now it's just told me to exit slowly via the dryers. Now there's actually a countdown display on the edge, which gives you a good idea of how fast to travel. We've set it to be 60 seconds long, but after 30 seconds, uh, the next car is allowed to come in. I don't know if you can see the drawing in the wing mirror. Now, like most car washes, it's not completely dry. Um, I've yet to see any in-bay automatic wash that gives a completely dry vehicle. But the fact that we've used spot-free rinse means that we won't get any water marks, which is the big issue with, with, um, with not getting a completely dry vehicle. So that's it. Let's get out and have a look and see uh, how it performed. So this is the wash. Hard to imagine that happened in uh, about five minutes. Um, you can see we've actually cleaned right up under here as well, which uh, you'll find that there's no brush wash can do that, not alone. Sometimes they'd have high pressure with it, but um, the razor is able to target in behind here. Um, where we drew our little picture on the side, that's all disappeared. And the shine, if you can see it from the edge, is phenomenal. So that's our test. Thanks for watching. Um, as ever, if you want to log on to our website, www.washwell.ie, or if you're in the UK, log on to www.nunew-shine.co.uk. Thanks for watching.